Hey everyone, what is going on? This is Vashish and welcome back to my Coat family. And in this video, we are going to learn how you can build a project of user management system with the help of Node.js and MySQL. And in this project, we are also going to use Bootstrap and also various dependencies like body parser, .env, express and so on. Some of the prerequisites before following this videos are you must have familiar with Node.js, MySQL and Bootstrap. So if you guys are excited then give it a thumbs up to this video and let's get started. So welcome back guys to my computer screen and now without wasting much time let's uh, download the ZAMP. So search here zamp and after that click on the first link and here you can uh, see that zamp is available in uh, three versions whatever operating system that you are using you can download for that for me i am using windows 11 so i just need to download this version you can download as your choice and after that install it its installation process is very easy and once you install this XAMPP you just need to open up XAMPP I have already installed it then you just need to uh, run Apache and MySQL then uh, minimize it and after that let's create our project go to the folder location where you want to create our project so here we can create a file a folder as user management system with hyphen node and hyphen my sql and go to this folder and open your vs code now now let's uh, uh, open the terminal now we have to initialize our node.js project so for that we have to write npm in it before running this command the node.js must be installed in your system so after that so after writing this npm in it fire enter and then it will initialize your project it is asking as the package name should be whatever we have given and if you want to give any name uh, for the package uh, then you can give but if you don't give then it will uh, take the default one so i am not uh, giving any new name and then i am en uh, pressing enter here the version is also 1.0.0 and i don't want to give any description entry point should be index.js uh, i want to change this entry point so here i have to write app.js the app.js file will be my entry point file and now i'm pressing enter then test command i don't require anyone and git repository no enter 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 okay yes enter okay now go to package.json file and here you can see all the default details of our project and now uh we have to install certain dependencies so for that right here npm i express is the node.js framework then dot env sorry dot env for uh, storing our credentials then uh, express handlebars which is the template engine express handle bars okay this is fine and after that body parser body hyphen parser to get the form data or web page data to our server and after that the, the package for mysql so that we can use mysql with node.js and okay everything is fine and then fire the enter and now it will install all these dependencies in our project as you can see all the dependencies are installed and now it is the time to create app 
dot js file and here we have to import first the express dependency so right here const express equal to require and inside that express and after that we have to define a variable as app so const app and there we have to uh, pass the express function so that we can use all the uh, function of express with the help of app variable so right here express and parenthesis and after that to call this server we have to mention a listen function so for that write here app dot listen and inside that the port number will be 5000 and if it will work perfectly then we can here console log that our uh, server okay uh, console dot log that our server is running on you can use here the backticks the template literals so here you can write uh, server is running on port 5000 okay uh, later on we gonna modify this port number but for now we can uh, simply have it as 5000 and to display uh, the output in the web page we can write here app dot get uh, get method we used to display something on the web page from server and this function will take two parameters first is the route uh, what is the route of this function and after that uh, it will take a callback function where it will uh, have two parameters the first one is request and then second one is the response these two uh, inverted comma means we want to display something in our root at root route so for that uh, write the callback function and after that so in this function if we want to send something to web page then we can use uh, send function with the help of response so write here response dot send we are sending a response from server to the browser then we can mention whatever we want to send uh, i'm writing here hello world and save it and run it node space app.js and it is showing us as server is running on port 5000 let's try to run it on the browser and if i go to localhost 5000 then it is showing us hello world so our server is working now and now i am going to tell you something which is every time we want to run this server you have to write in the terminal that node then uh, the file name to overcome this problem we have to install a node mon for that you can go to the official website of npm node mon and there you can uh, get how to install node mon in your browser so by writing this command on the terminal first of all control c and after that if i fire enter now then it will uh, install the node moon the benefit of node moon is that whenever you save uh, sorry once you run the node moon and after that whenever you save any file it will run the server automatically let's see it is installed in our uh, system uh, in our project or not as you can see in the dev dependency part the node mon is installed as 2.0.20 it is the version number of it and now uh, if i run with the help of node mon and app.js and now if i save it again you can see it is running automatically so with the help of node mon we don't have to run it manually and now uh, to be more specific we can uh, implement here a script 
which is the start script so here we have to write node mon space uh, app dot js oh i got i just forgot the co uh, colon here if i write here uh, npm start whatever script you have mentioned here these all are manual scripts customizable scripts that you want to add in your project and if i write here npm start then it will run nodemon app.js as you can see our server is running on port number 5000 and here we go okay everything is fine now it is time to set up our handlebars so for that uh, we can go to uh, I want one thing I want to tell you that whenever you forget something you just need to search on the browser that how you can use it express handlebars and after that go to the official website and there so now scroll down and you can read the documentation if you want With this npm install access express handlebars we have already done that and after that the directory structure of handlebars so inside our uh, project we have to create a views folder and inside that we have to create home.handlebars and also we have to create a folder as layouts and said that we have to create a main.handlebars and after that write this uh, course inside our app.js file and after that inside the views and layouts main handlebars we have to write a normal html tag and inside the body you have to write a three pair of curly braces and you have to give the body and inside the views slash homebar dot handlebars file we have to write simply whatever you want to mention here so here it has described us that whatever the content of the apps home view which will be rendered into the layouts body so whatever we write on this home dot handlebars it will show inside this layouts main dot handlebars so let's uh, do that so first of all we have to create a views folder and views and inside that we have to create a, a file as home dot handlebars and after that we have we have to also create a layouts folder and inside that we have to create main dot handlebars bars and inside the then we have to just copy these settings to our app.js file handle bar setup and here you can paste and we have to import engine from express handlebars so we can copy this but we have to modify in terms of the lower versions of ECMAScript 6 so for that we have to write here const hb s equal to then uh, require express handlebars and after that here we have to write hbs dot and now everything is fine and okay and now inside the main dot handlebar what we need to write we have to define a html uh, default html setup and inside that we have to mention with the body with the pair with the three pair of curly braces so inside this main dot handlebar file we have to normally set up the uh, default uh, html setup and after that we have to mention three pair of curly braces and then body sorry body 
and after after that inside the home dot handlebar inside this home dot handlebars we just need to write here that whatever you want to display so in this case i am writing here as uh my channel name as code family and to uh, access it in the browser what we need to do let's see so we have to write here rest dot render okay so go to app.js and we have to use your render function and after that we can mention here home and let's see it is showing in the browser or not refresh it okay now we can access the content of the home handlebars with the help of main handlebars body okay everything is fine now and go to app.js go to the browser and search here for dot env npm and we just need to install we have already installed the dot env and now okay got it we just need to import this dot env to our project that we have already installed so now so now we can use all the private files that we don't want to display to anyone and to use this functionality first of all we have to require this dot env that already we have installed and now here we have to create a dot env file where we can mention our port number as uh, 8081 its use case is whenever we uh, upload our project into cloud like github or any other platform we do not upload this dot uh, env file because it contains certain uh, private credentials like database passwords or database uh, file structures or database name username and many more things so we have to always uh, keep private these credentials that's why we use your env file and to access it inside our app.js first of all we have to require this env with the method of config and after that we can create a variable as port equal to and to access the content of env file we have to write here process dot env dot port and or 5000 why i am writing like this it is because uh, let's say we are connecting with a, a database and uh, the database is providing us a particular port number so whenever we uh, run our project remotely port number is provided by the database but whenever we want to run it locally we can use this port number and now let's modify here the app dot listen to port and here we have to write like a dollar and with a pair of curly braces we can write here as port and as you can see the server is running on port number 8081 so if uh, let's say this port number is given by the, the database and the database fails uh, in this case uh, it can run in the 5000 port number so uh, this is all for today and in the next video we will learn how we can set up our database and its credentials and then connect our uh, server with the database so thank you so much and keep coding